Uh, so ibrutinib uh, is the first in class irreversible or covalent BTK inhibitor that really uh, ushered in the current uh, novel or targeted agent uh, era in CLL treatment. So we now uh, are to the point of having, you know, six, seven year follow up data from these early studies and even, uh, you know, now longer term outcome from the big confirmatory phase three cooperative group studies that showed this benefit over our gold standard chemoimmunotherapy regimens like FCR and, and bendamustine rituximab. Um, and so uh, the efficacy seen against the prior gold standard chemoimmunotherapy regimens really extended across the relevant subgroups of IGHV, mutated or unmutated, TP53 uh, aberrations, uh, and so forth. And, and uh, so that's very exciting. Uh, and, and those data have continued to, to uh, mature and, and those benefits continue to exist uh, with longer term follow up. Uh, to achieve those outcomes, unfortunately, it's delivered in a continuous fashion. Uh, and along with that comes a, uh, a substantial amount of discontinuations that are actually not due to progression, but due to toxicity events, um, more so which have been described in, in real world data than uh, in, the, in the trial data. This includes cardiovascular uh, toxicity, such as atrial fibrillation and hypertension, uh, as well as bleeding and bruising issues and um, you know, arthralgias, infections. Uh, and so management of those uh, can include dose modifications with uh, multiple data sets now maybe supporting a, a dose reduction rather than a dose interruption uh, as management for that, uh, for, for various toxicities, as well as uh, some prospective trial data showing the ability to transition to a different, uh, more selective BTKI. Uh, such as a calibrutinib or xanabrutinib that uh, is effective in, and does not always uh, result in the recurrence of the prior toxicity. Um, so the, those are exciting data and I think maybe summing it up is a recent report uh, from the um, E1912 with I think up to six year follow up showing that the majority of patients are on ibrutinib and tolerating and benefiting from it uh, at five years and beyond.